What is going on, you guys? My name is Mr. Shane. Hey, welcome back to another Avengers Endgame review. Where today I'm going to be taking a look at a spoiler, potential spoiler reveal of uh, the the War Machine Buster. Which, yes, this is potential spoilers. Now, you guys have been avoiding YouTube, any kind of social media. I would highly recommend you click out of the video right now, or you probably would have already clicked out because title already said potential spoilers, but uh, yeah, if you're still here, well, you clearly don't mind about spoilers, because uh, yes, this has been leaked, well, I, obviously the suit, the War Machine Buster has been, the kind of leaked suit has been kind of leaked around the internet, I don't want to try to say, I'm kind of talking gibberish, and uh, yeah, also, all the light you see in the background is not from that light that you see right there, that's a family, that, it's only providing light for just that circle that you see right there, I do have some other background lighting, and uh, apparently there's a plane going on going over my house, but uh, yeah, you do have this one that I showed from the bottom. You have uh, so the Outriders from the previous sets, which is the same. So if you have other ones, yeah, they also work too. If you have Outrider, the one with the well, Octo, Octo, oh, I couldn't see Octo Limb one, you have the two ones with a with Wolverine. Well, it actually, it's more like that. Court of Owls claws, but uh, yeah, they kind of it's repainted. Look like Court of Owls claws for the Batman set. But again, some Marvels, I'm not gonna be talking about anymore. So, and, uh, yeah, yeah, Ant Man, which in the actual Quantum Gnome suit, which again, it's not a spoiler, it's on an instant trailer. You have War Machine, which is probably which is kind of like the first War Machine that we have since uh, since uh, I believe that's. Civil Wars Lego set. I might be correcting myself down in the description below if I can't put in editing. But uh, yeah, you have the War Machine Buster suit, and you do have kind of a tweak around. You don't have Captain America here, but you do have you have Captain Marvel. You have Iron Man, uh, Ant Man, and War Machine. And again, spoiler, but it's spoiler. It's, it's a different style of suit than what we used to seeing. But uh, kind of here, you do have the Lego version of the side, but obviously you don't have that in there. A uh, quantum realm suit, and uh, yeah, over here you do have the buster suit on the top. You have actual size to of the figure, or mini figure, which is which is true. This is actually the size of the figure itself. But yeah, in the back, fantasy scene. I'm not gonna talk much about it because again, fantasy spoilers. But it shows you a whole bunch of other gimmicks. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this intro portion of this re review now if you guys sit here you glad again you're not too worried about spoilers i'm gonna keep on saying potential spoilers throughout this video because yeah as as i'm recording this it's not april 26th which is when endgame comes out so yes this is potential spoilers but uh yeah so let's get on to the actual review itself okay guys so here we have the war machine buster open up and obviously assemble but obviously yeah I didn't just build it in between these, the video and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah. Obviously, with the actual figure itself, you, you do have, obviously, starting off the villains in the set. You do have the two Outriders, which which you can actually have them uh, in here. But, uh, yeah. I'm, more than likely, I'm just going to be displaying this with the War Machine in the actual suit. But, yeah, coming in the actual main, well... You know, the actual Ant Man himself. Now, when I actually got this, this really does seem like the actual just the Lego guy on the actual instructions or actually instruction book. If you do have it, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, you do have him in his uh, corresponding suit. But uh, yeah, him in his hair and stuff. This is not look like Paul Rudd at all. But yeah, you have a nice. Is a uh, Ant Man helmet, which I did. I believe it's the same one as the Civil War set, but uh, yeah. If you do want to pop dust, pop stuff. Oh, also, you just actually have a paddock face, but yeah. I think it's all. I think it's kind of the same one as a uh, Bruce Willis. Um, I don't know, <laughs> Lego Movie Two, but yeah. You, know what? you have Ant Man, but yeah. And also, again, come on. The main reason why you getting this is a War Machine. Now, I believe this is essentially the helmet is essentially just a re use of uh, one from previous Lego sets but uh, yeah obviously the main body is the same obviously articulation is all the same for all the Lego ones 
So I'm not going to be getting into that. But uh, yeah, obviously opening it up. Well, obviously when I was getting this out, I was kind of worried that I, you wouldn't get a, uh, the face of uh, Rhodey or James Rhodes War Machine. But uh, yeah, obviously because when you see package, you don't actually see this thing, uh, the face up like Iron Man. But uh, yeah, now obviously mine is kind of weird, but if you push on the low part, obviously the, f the mask will come off. Which is actually on my Iron Man. Um, apparently mine is actually kind of loose. The articulation piece up top is loose. So I actually have to push on the top part of the face to get it down. But uh, yeah, you know, like shoulder cated, which is consistent with the actual like suit. I War Machine suit, which I believe, again, is part of the, uh, which is part of the uh, same War Machine. Again, it's attached. By a clear piece here, well, you, you actually have to assemble the shoulder cannon because obviously that's one thing. Well, kiss it's so, but yeah, it's attached right at a clear piece which goes underneath the head of the of Rhodey. But uh, yeah, if you take it off, obviously bald. But uh, yeah, the actor, uh, Don Cheadle, is actually like partially bald because he has hair in the back, but again, you can't really fix it. But uh, yes, right out here, you do have the here with the heads up display, like angry ones, so if you do want to uh, do a stop motion, you could do it, but uh, yeah. Like here, now obviously, to the actual main part itself, the main selling point, the War Machine Buster, now picking up a camera, because this guy doesn't fit in a frame, you know, my god, I had, have Ant-Man, or Scott Lang's hair in here. But uh, yeah, you got a nice, with the shoulder cannon, and also in the missile pods, which what I'll talk about the missile pods, you don't actually squeeze anything, you just flip the missile pods with your finger, which I don't do because it's going to fly around everywhere. Now obviously you do have two ports, so this one, it shows that you could actually take this out and actually have War Machine hold it. But uh, obviously, you know in the movies, War Machine doesn't actually carry a gun, but uh, you know, we, we don't know. It might be implemented in the new suit. Maybe we say, no, it just knocked over Ant-Man. But uh, yeah, articulation. Obviously this guy is basically like the Hulkbuster, but he's more like squat. But uh, yeah, this set took me maybe roughly on an hour, hour, two hours to actually put together because obviously you got stickers, lots of stickers here. Yeah, stickers on shoulders and uh, and uh, yeah. Obviously I kind of had to use clear tape because uh, I actually had this oriented upside down like this, uh, this that was on top. So yeah, I kind of had to take it out and stuff. So it's here. So obviously... If you guys have been paying attention so far, you know, you'll notice that these stickers upside down. I did want to fix it because, yeah, if I like, fold the sticker up a little bit, stick it out here, and obviously, they show you, you can open up the toes for kind of a, like, more stability stand, but, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be doing extra pose with Lego because this is going to fall off, and, uh, yeah, obviously, you have articulated fingers, so, uh, yeah, also, you have the red repulsors, kind of like, obviously, what Rhodey is. He obviously has red eyes, but uh, yeah, figures go out like that. So you can hold the Outriders if you really do choose to display your Outriders. I'm, I'm not going to display it, but uh, yeah, you can hold and then probably like fling, do like spin the hand around and kind of make the Outriders vomit. I don't know if Outriders actually do vomit, but uh, yeah, you can actually hold them. I'm not going to do it for like a time machine, but uh, yeah, you could actually hold them just like from a box. But yeah, also I forgot about it. Yeah, it's because it's with Outriders, back of the head also has it. They got two faces, angry face and a neutral face. But again, on the Outriders, I always display one angry face because obviously they're the villains. And uh, yeah, rotates around and you do have the pistol here. Now, it comes with a whole bunch of red studs, which are the single circle pieces. Now, obviously, if, when you build it, you know it stores inside here. But uh, yeah, opening up, it's just like a regular Hulk Buster, you open this up. And uh, yeah, open this up and it and it tells you to store on this flat piece. Kind of gives like Rhodey here, so if you want to put this guy in, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, kind of won't actually tell us back, but you don't, you really don't need this, but this is meant for storage. So yeah, you can put this out here at a fire, which I'm not going to do because it flies pretty far. But yeah. If you uh, want, you can also put this on uh, Rhodey's shoulder cannon. Again, this is the exact same as one over here. So yeah, you can put on a shoulder cannon. 
Oh yeah, you just basically unpeel a uh, stud and uh, yeah, this is basically put this on here and it's basically like a standard Lego gun. It actually fires, but uh, yeah, just push this and it fires out. I'm not gonna let it fire because yeah, I, I lose stuff in my room. So uh, yeah, it's just it's a smooth piece, so it kind of just goes by here. But yeah, you can take these one put in here and also as replacement for uh the these shoulder cans up top. But uh yeah, basically what you do is for storage it gives you like eight. It tells you to put eight and it comes with uh it comes with six, so you do have uh well, eight storage here with six, so that's if I do my math correctly, that's that's fourteen studs and obviously to give you extra in case you lose them but uh yeah now the whole main purpose of this is to actually have like Rody actually get in the suit like the Hulkbuster but what you gotta do first is obviously take this off and uh put this here on that other side because obviously both of them you the shark tell you to build one of this and I didn't tell you to multiply by two which again kind of a waste but it should tell you to uh at the beginning, but at the end, when you when you're done with one hand, it's times two, and then show you this. But yeah, you close this up. Again, also, I am missing a piece here. Apparently, it's actually not lost. It's actually not in the set. But yeah, I guess it's probably mine's a lemon. But uh, yeah, well, you close this up. Obviously, you kind of, you know, kind of want to put Rody's legs kind of around this, which is kind of like designed for the actual Lego set. But you, going on oh yeah because it's uh it's because of the feet on the bottom and it kind of jabs into this uh, reactor but you have, you actually have to put this in for some reason don't know why but yeah did it yeah the helm was down straight but yeah you kind of you kind of close this up but i mean if you really want to be accurate you can just take this off but uh yeah then you can close him up you do have him in the hulk but here but again this is essentially just a repaint of the of the Infinity War Hulkbuster with uh yeah, obviously War Machine style paint. But uh yeah. Now obviously this panel goes up so you can have the arms like that. Okay, it's round. There's no actual extension of the arm. But yeah. Legs the arm they are, they are on ratchet joints. Cause obviously this guy is heavier, I believe, than the Hulkbuster, Lego Hulkbuster, because obviously you do want to get him, you don't want him flopping around using these kind of joints. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna make sure my f fingers are anatomically, again, anatomically correct. But again, obviously these pieces kind of fold up again. Like that. Now, coming on to the actual major selling point, I don't know if I can actually get this on camera. But there you go, you can just kind of see, but, uh, yeah, you do have a machine gun here, which you kind of twist back here for it. Now, I'm going to use the Lego bag, which is actually to kind of hold this. Oh. That's failed. But, uh, yeah, you can kind of do that. And uh, you, you, when you turn it, it kind of fires the, the studs. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to... Bring this down so you guys can actually see this. Not so I can catch all of them because of uh, yeah. And well, I just lost one. And uh, yeah, you basically just fire all six. Hang on. See, since Tony Stark actually doesn't really consider reload, obviously there will be arc reactor power. For that, obviously, Rhodey's arc reactor is going to be different. But yeah, there is articulation down here, so you can actually put this off to the side, basically. But the box kind of shows it upright like so. But yeah, well, this looks like it should be on the top, but uh, yeah, yeah, you can rotate it side. But you're on the top, it's it's on a ball joint, so it kind of gives you, on the top, it kind of gives you full range of motion right here. But again, on, on this side, you do the missiles, but in order to do that, you kind of flick this. Again, I'm not gonna do so, uh, because game bounces, but yeah, you just push it off and it kind of 
where you flick it and it kind of, well, you couldn't even see it. But yeah, you flick this and it kind of uh, fires with the, depending on how hard you flick it. But yeah, again, again, I'm, again, I don't want to lose her label pieces because uh, again, they are small parts, but uh, yeah, talking about extra parts, you do get extra additional parts, but you only get one missile head, which is, uh, well, I'm going to show you, but uh, yeah, you do get, uh, you get one additional missile head. Now, uh, yeah, now, obviously, with all the, you can, you can obviously choose to put any Lego figure inside of this Buster suit, but, uh, yeah, obviously, it's back, obviously, I believe it's supposed to be thrusters for something, but, uh, again, we, we don't know, because we have not seen the movie, now, when you do build this, it comes with the actual, well, come with, but, uh, yeah, you build, basically build a torso, the, like, so I'm this part here, and yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't start with the legs. Okay, you start with the main body, and yeah, you basically put the legs on and all that stuff. So here, Gates tells you to build like this, and oh wait, you realize it's body. Stand it up. But uh, yeah, again, hose are posed, so you can uh, get a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, yeah, you do have red feet for the bolt blasters again. And one, but again. I don't remember the Hulkbuster just having three fingers. Again, I could be wrong. Again, I probably haven't been pay paying attention, but uh, yeah, again, it's an external operating suit because Rhodey isn't actually con having his arms all the way down. But uh, yeah, you can't actually o open that and uh, yeah, take Rhodey out. But uh, yeah, also I've got to mention that the helmet is kind of on, um, it's on these uh, weird hinges so kind of like that but uh yeah you just close it up basically you got Odie here but uh yeah you have guns on on the hands which again if you choose if you're going to display it you most likely display this but uh, if you do want a roadie outside you would actually have a shoulder can which I kind of do kind of wish that uh that they kind of give you an extra one of these because oh I don't think Rhodey's gonna run over grab the thing from the grab his shoulder can off of the edge of the edge of the buster suit so uh yeah now obviously now this this is I don't remember how much it is but it's roughly around the same price as the Captain America Lego set that I had reviewed but, uh, yeah. Now, since you are getting Ant-Man, which is kind of an exclusive just for this. Now, the other one, which is the Avenger, or the Avengers Jet, which is different. You aren't going to be getting a, uh, you're going to be getting a tire new character. Each set is different. Except for the $100 one, which you are getting Iron Man, which, with a different suit, which we don't know about. But, uh, yeah. Now, obviously, now you do have these two guys, and the helmet, and these two, but uh, yeah. Now, reasonable, it's very interesting, now if you guys are interested in Avengers, uh, I'll, I'll be putting a, bu putting a buy link down to Target where you can actually currently get this. Now, depending on where you are, depending on certain stores, it depends on availability and all that stuff. So yeah, you may have to check the retail stores for availability because... I was everybody wants to get this before the movie actually comes out. So, uh, yeah, or, again, if you're just like people who don't like spoilers, you're going to get this after. But, uh, yeah, people, YouTubers like me would just get that. But, uh, yeah, thanks guys, that's wrapping up for my review of the Lego Marvel's Endgame of the War Machine Buster. Now, if you have enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new, and, uh, yeah.